Welcome to MCTV. My name is Dennis Doyle, and I'm here live at H.H. H. Dow High School with Jason Revord to cover the Saginaw Valley Wrestling Dual Meet between the visiting Chemex of Midland and the Chargers of Dow High. The Chargers come into tonight's meet with a record of 4-2 in the Saginaw Valley, and the Chemex are also 4-2. Jason, this is an exciting event for us to cover since the two of us uh, coached both of both members of uh, these teams and uh, through middle school and youth wrestling. Yeah, absolutely, Dennis. This is an exciting matchup. The, uh, the, the crowd is ready to go here. They just finished up their coin toss. And uh, seeing members of both teams here come up through the youth and middle school program, this is exciting. Cannot wait to see this. We got a chance to interview uh, Coach Donovan and Coach Trader earlier. And uh, if we got any time, we'll go to that interview. I'm here with Coach Mike Donovan with Midland High School. This is his third year as uh, head uh, wrestling coach. Uh, we just want to ask him a few uh, questions before his match starts to begin. Sure thing. All right. Um, coach, what's uh, some of your favorite motivational techniques? Uh, generally just taking the pressure off the guys in terms of wins and losses, just telling them that we expect them to wrestle aggressively and wrestle hard. Um, it kind of takes as best as it can the, the idea that they must win or they can't lose off because that leads to guys just being paralyzed and stuck in the moment. So just generally expecting that the attitude and the aggressiveness um, and just constantly each time always looking for the next point no matter what happens. Um, and we kind of practice situations like that in, in practice and, and generally throughout the year. Um, like exemplifying guys who are able to come overcome adversity during a match and just keep focused on ahead to the next point to the next point to the next point so um, attitude over over points and wins first and foremost all right very good Mike um, what does this crosstown rivalry mean to you is there anything special that you'd tell the kids before a match like this uh, Generally, actually, the, the only special thing that we tell them is that it's not special <laughs> um, in, in the way that it's still a circle, it's still the same rules, it's still wrestling at its heart um, and soul. Um, I've definitely noticed that there's definitely been a higher energy, um, good ways and bad ways. Uh, some guys get a little too amped up, so it's, it's hard to take all of the meaning out of a match like this. Um, but as a coach, we have a pregame routine. Um, or we try to, like guys are telling them the same thing every single match, whether it's against a fish that they're going to pin or it, whether it's the state finals, they have the same pre-match routine every match. So that way that there's no special match, if you will. There's, there's meaning to it and, and they understand the implications, but for the six minutes that they're wrestling, it's the same every time. So. Well, thanks a lot, Mike. We wish you the best of luck. Um, we're expecting a huge turnout and a great matchup tonight. Right. So good luck to you, Thank Coach. You. Thank you. All right, we are starting here with the 135-pound weight class. Uh, ben DeRyder of Dow High will face off Jacob against Gamola. Jacob Gamola. Ben is a freshman, and uh, this actually will be his uh, second varsity match his first match was earlier tonight against Arthur Hill this will be his second match Jacob comes in as a uh, junior his records 15 and 4 before tonight should be a good matchup right here we did start uh, uh, progress uh, already in the 135 weight class um, there was two voids earlier on and uh, actually uh, Kendaro Clinton at 125 had a quick pin um, about 15 seconds over uh, Caleb Sudebaker there's two takedown for Jacob Gamala. He did let him up for an escape, so the score is two to one right now. So I know Midland High is very comfortable working on their feet. They will go takedowns all day long. It's very comfortable uh, what Coach Donovan likes to preach. Um, so yeah, you might see a lot of that tonight, Dennis. Yeah, I've noticed that the last three years with Coach Donovan uh, at Midland High, they do like uh, to work on their feet to get takedowns. They will uh, take down and cut loose quite often, although Jacob has a, a cradle, looks to be locked up pretty tight here. Uh, and uh, he's just working to get him over onto his back for some near fall, and Ben's fighting it. Oh, there, we've got about a minute left in this period here. Mm -hmm. oh. so he looks like he's established some near fall criteria, and uh, the referee's yeah. counting. Ben scrambles off a little bit. He'll get uh, two near fall for that. And uh, right back, uh, he was back here. Still lots of time on the clock, about 33 seconds. Yep. 
Jacob's got a lot of youth experience. He's a, a good, strong, good-looking junior. And uh, Ben wrestled uh, in middle school at Jefferson for a couple years. And that one goes to Midland High, taking the score to 18 to zero. No, 24 to zero. So, uh, Dennis, do you want to go over what the scoring uh, criteria is for team points? Obviously, we know how to score the individual wrestling match, but the team points, why don't we go over that to see uh, how that works out? Yep. When uh, there's a void, if, if a team does not send out a wrestler, then it's an automatic six points. Uh, if, if a wrestler wins by, by uh, less than eight points, that's three team points. And we'll come back to that in a minute. This is... Sam Martin, a sophomore for Dow High. He has a record of 16 and 5, and he's wrestling Matthew Ware, who's a junior at Midland High. Uh, Matthew comes in with a record of uh, 13 and 4. Again, very comfortable on his feet. You'll probably see lots of takedowns uh, going back to the neutral position out of uh, Matthew. Yeah, and this is uh, Sam is a little bit of a funky wrestler. He uses that, those long legs and long arms, and he's uh, very tough to take down. He's a good scrambler. And uh, he has a, a nice low ankle that we might see here if he goes on the attack. But uh, Matthew Ware is, is uh, a pretty seasoned wrestler, and he's, he's going to be on the attack himself. Both wrestlers uh, working for position right here, working back to the center of the mat, kind of feeling things out right now. I think uh, after that first shot, they're uh, just taking a little bit more caution. Yep. Sammy does a great job with his hips there when Matthew shot in. Both of these wrestlers also play football at uh, their high school. Sam is a sophomore on the JV team, and Matthew was on the varsity team. Yeah, Matthew also plays baseball as well. Likes to pitch, do shortstop, and second base as well. Yeah, yeah he's a rare three-sport athlete, and uh, Matthew is one of those that's uh, excellent in the classroom as well. He, I believe, has a, a 4.0 unweighted GPA. Wow, that's incredible. He may look to follow in his brothers and his parents' footsteps and go to U of M in a couple years. Oh, very good. Well, right now, they're still left. still trying to feel each other out. We may get we may get a scoreless first period here, which actually last year in the dual meet seemed to happen all the time. Uh, there were probably seven matches that that uh, went scoreless in the first. So this actually has the uh, potential to go to a, a chess match more than a wrestling match, the way that uh, Coach Josh Trader and Mike Donovan are, are going to position themselves to get the, the most team points for, uh, for their team. Because some of these big matchups that uh, we see on paper may not happen just to, to try to capitalize the most points for their team. Right. And uh, bo both teams weighed in two people at 140, and that kind of began the chess match. Oh. I'm surprised Coach Donovan deferred there giving uh, Sam Martin the choice, which he went down. Typically in a, in a scoreless first period, you want to... You want to be the first one to score. Yeah, because then uh, if there's ever a tie, it comes down to criteria, and first points is one of those criteria. And it's a little easier to score when you're on bottom than it is on top. So that's why I was surprised to see uh, Coach Donovan choose to defer to the third period. Sam gets back to his feet. Matthew is just doing a great job, just uh, not letting him get any type of uh, momentum for the escape. And yeah, Matthew's a very smart wrestler. You're not going to see him make too many mistakes out on the mat. Sam's just got to keep moving, keep uh, constant movement, and try and get a little separation and, and get his hips out underneath Matthew. So uh, Matthew just got a caution there. Um, I think... Uh, way he positioned himself on top of Sam uh, must not have uh, been to the referee's liking so no big deal he can reset I think on the cautions on the when they start in the referee's position like that I think you actually get two cautions before you end up giving up a point uh, Sam's looking for a switch here yep. Matthew's in deep on that leg I'm not sure Sam's yeah, gonna I be think able he'll be happy to that. stalemate here if uh, yep. anything else Matthew's hanging on tight. Sam's got in on his leg, but... And they called uh, Matthew for stalling. He uh, needs to continue to work to improve his position. It's a tough call right there. Um, mm -hmm. It's because Matthew is uh, um, kind of in a bad spot, and he would have uh, 
be better than giving up two points for reversal. Right. Yeah, I'm not sure I agree with that stalling call. He was, I don't think he was stalling, but the referees have their own own idea. Nice shot by Sam. S Sam gets a takedown. Sam also got a point because Matthew let him up to his feet rather than uh, go down again and yeah. risk another stalling call. Kind of just goes back to Coach Donovan's philosophy of uh, working the feet all day long here. So um, that one didn't work out in his favor, but uh, lots of time left to wrestle. Yes. Yep. Sam, I would say in the three positions, neutral, uh, referees top or bottom, I would say Sam's best position is top, although he is... He is in a bad position here. Matthew looks like he could be coming out of this. Yeah, we've got a good scramble here going on. Let's see who can uh, win this. Looks yep. like uh, Matthew, Matthew does got, get it. Matthew got two reversal there. Got about 20 seconds left in this period. The score three to two. Now, if I was the coach here, I would be uh, screaming for my down wrestler to try and get out for one point. Oh, heck and yeah. not necessarily work for a reversal. Sometimes that backfires. Yeah, with seven seconds left. You want to try to explode, get your one point escape. Uh, every point's going to matter in this matchup. Yep. And my guess is that uh, Matthew will choose down in the uh, third period. Yeah, although uh, um, Matthew did do a nice job uh, riding Sam to the. Uh, in the second period, mm -hmm. I agree. He, he almost needs to choose down. Yeah, I think so. He gets an escape that ties the match. Uh, this match is going to come down to, I think, whoever gets the last takedown because uh, I don't know that you'll be able to ride Matthew for two full minutes here. And you're correct. Uh, Matthew does choose down. Sammy can be a hammer on top, but when you get constant movement and Matthew's a strong athlete, it's going to be hard to keep him down. Oh, he's kind working for uh, hand control right here. here. If you can get that leg out, he'll be in uh, good shape for the escape. Mm -hmm. Some referees will call that potentially dangerous with the leg in uh, while standing. Yes. But he uh, gave him a little bit of latitude there. Matthew's in a real good position here. If he climbs up Sam's body and gets his arms behind his waist, he'd be happy with like that stalemate get, again. So. Looks like he could get a reversal. But yeah, they might be working for a stalemate here, which would be in Sam's benefit. But that also might be a stalling warning too. Oh, if he can slide that left arm around, he'll uh, he'll get two points. Yeah. It's a little bit awkward here. Just over a minute to uh, go here, and the referee's giving them some latitude yet. Let's we'll see if they can win. Uh, who wants to win this scramble? Right. Sam's got good hips. Oh, got a Peterson set up. Yeah. Oh, goes right. I think if I was Sam, I would bail on this and give him the one and work for a takedown. Better than a five-point move. Rather oh, than... that one did not work out. <laughs> like he tried a crucifix there. Yeah. Oh, he oh, gave we got two. two. That was, uh, a little bit early for sure. me. I'm not sure. He's got his head still in there. I, I don't I, uh, know that I would... I'm not convinced that was two points, but that uh, was enough for the referee. Right, 30 seconds left. I don't know that Sam's even aware that... He's down right now. So Midland High is up right now. 4 3. That's four definitely, three. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a reversal. So Sam needs to get one point with 25 seconds left to go to tie this up. Yep, he's got a. Matthew's yeah. going to ride him tight. He does have a caution, so he's got to get off his hips. Yeah, which there he is. Point. He's off his hips. Oh, Sam's got to get that foot down and hip away, and he'll get his one, but. So he's going for a splatal here. Let's see if yep. he can recognize it. I think he would have been better off trying to get one rather than the splatal. Oh. That was a big win. Coach Donovan is uh, losing his mind right now. He's he was very, really open for that one. Very happy about that win, Coach Donovan is. He was a little excited. It's a good match. Though. That was good a match. real good match. No, Matthew's always going to be tough on the mat. Now here for... We're going to see who they for, send out. This for, is another uh, chess match here. Yeah, for Dow High, it's definitely going to be Michael Moore. I'm not sure who they have for, for Midland High. Who do they have on the weigh-in sheet there? That might be Alex Ernest. Ernst? Yeah. The I, announcer uh, will let us know here. I'm not really familiar with Alex here. Um, let me find his sheet. Yep, yep, Alex. That is Alex. Yep. Michael's got a record of 15 and 7. Uh, if you heard for the in the uh, the parent night, Michael's one of those uh, very good students also. 
He actually did some work at the Mayo Clinic this, this past summer doing some medical research and uh, plans on going into the medical field. He's, he hasn't decided on a, on a college yet. So it's two to one. Michael got a quick takedown and uh, they scrambled a little bit and Alex came up to his feet for one. And it looks like Michael may get, if he can stay in bounds, may get another takedown. Yep, now it is four to one. So it uh, looks like they're work, uh, working on getting some uh, some points built up. Mm -hmm. uh, where did you leave off with the team scoring? Team scoring, um, if, if a team gets a pin or has a void, then it's worth six points. If a, if a wrestler wins by less than eight, it's three points. If a wrestler wins by eight to 14, it is four points. That's called a major decision. And then if a wrestler wins, if a wrestler is ever up by 15, they actually stop the match, and it's uh, called a tech fall, and that is worth five points. So those are the different ways for a team to score. I really like the way that Alex is still just going right after him. He does enter uh, tonight with a four and seven record um, as a freshman. And he, um, he's a freshman? Yeah, right now, Alex is in a rough spot right here. Um, yep. With 30 seconds, seconds left to go. Left. And uh, looks like somebody is uh, oh. um, arguing something here. I think Coach Donovan thought he looked he looked up at the uh, scoreboard and it wasn't going. But our scoreboard is on the other side of the gym, so people from I can definitely see this, how that would be confusing. Yeah, I've kind of looked at it a couple times, wondering the time, but. Yes. Yeah, so the score the scoreboard is actually behind the, the Midland High bench in Coach Donovan. No. So they're gonna Michael will get three points for a near fall. And then um, they're gonna restart him center in uh, in the referee's position. Michael's looking to try and get Dow high on the board here with a pin. There, there's a pin. Picked up uh, six points right there. Yes. Well, it looks like Michael is sporting some new shoes tonight, too. I haven't seen those yet this year. <laughs> those are pretty loud. I need some sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here is the 152-pound weight class. We will have Brennan Doyle uh, from Dow High and Jesse Hayes from Midland High. This, this has the makings of, of an absolute brawl. Yeah, this is uh, one that we were talking about beforehand. I am this should excited be a, to see this. A very good physical match. Um, Jesse has had some, some great opponents he's faced this year and, and done very well. Uh, Brendan's having a, a good year, but this, this should be a good one right here. Both of these uh, wrestlers also play football for their school. Uh, both on the uh, the varsity team. Uh, Brennan's a sophomore, and Jesse Hayes is a junior. It's okay most of the time. They uh, have pretty different body styles. Brennan's a little shorter and stocker here. Jesse is tall with long, lean muscles. It should be a good. It should be a good matchup. Brennan's uh, another one of those uh, students in the classroom that uh, does very well. He's got a 4.0 unweighted GPA. Uh, would like to go to Stanford or TCU to study um, uh, computer engineering. Nice shot by uh, Jesse there. That was a good shot by Jesse. Brennan's got a whizzer in. Working the side and, of the uh, there. Brennan was able to use his hips and get out of that. Yeah, both of them very physical wrestlers here. Mm -hmm. This is uh, going to be a fun one to watch. Yes. Another one that we'll probably see 0-0 um, zero, zero right after the, end of the, the first, first after the first period. Yep. Brennan likes that uh, that underhook, and now he's got kind of an overhook there with his with his right. There is a takedown by Brennan with a fireman's dump. He's looking for a guillotine right away here. Got a leg in. Yep. Cross body ride. At, uh, I think I said this last year. I don't know that that's Brennan's best position, but he likes to ride legs, and I think if he uses it right to wear an opponent down, it's a good, good move. You gotta, you gotta be leery though, putting legs in on someone that tall with yeah. Brennan's build, because he can get high too easily. And Usually, those tall, long, 
uh, long leg kids do a little bit better with the legs. Mm -hmm. For sure. And Jesse is an 11th grader. He comes in tonight with a 13 and 4 record, which is very respectable. He does play football as well, and uh, really no youth experience prior to high school. So okay. done exceptionally well for only three years' experience. Yes, uh, for sure. So under Coach yep. Donovan the whole time. So. Yep. Yeah, as I said, he he wrestled uh, Davison wrestler real tough, Lapeer wrestler real tough. He's beaten some very good wrestlers this this year. So we're coming down to uh, 10 seconds or so in the period. Brennan's probably going to try and ride him out here and not give up any uh, any silly reversal or uh, give up one escape. Try and go into this second period too. And that's how it ends. 2-0 at the end of the first. All right, Jesse chooses down. They had choice in this match. So then Brennan will get the choice of position in the uh, third period. Brennan's He's got a, what they call a claw with his left hand. Claw spiral and, uh, ride, yep. And a crotch pry. He likes to put a lot of pressure on, uh, on the wrestlers doing that. It looks like we're Jesse's gonna, gonna come out for one. Yeah, we've got one, uh, one escape, so two to one right now. One Del High is up. Both looking for a position on the inside, uh -huh. a little hand fighting. Brennan does a few different things from that underhook. But I watched Jesse earlier uh, wrestle Bay City Western, and he also has uh, uh, some good stuff from, from the upper body position. So who knows what's going to happen here. They may may come out of this just neutral or they someone may get a score they're close to the and yeah, they're working the, the edge of the mat right. there <laughs> so they yeah. know where the out of bounds are in case for things sure. go south for them they can always for shoot sure. out of bounds it's just smart wrestling sometimes mm -hmm. so yep jesse can use that uh that leverage from the length as an advantage here and jesse wants them to be in the center of the mat because he doesn't want uh, the out of bounds coming to play mm -hmm. They're ear to ear right now, which I'm not sure is a great spot for your head. But no, usually coaches don't like the ear to ear position. Mm -hmm. Nobody gets the advantage. Usually, it's a forehead mm -hmm. in the uh, in the temple gives you just a little bit of an edge there right. to uh, give you a little yeah. bit of leverage. Yep, make it a little bit more uh, comfortable. We got 20 seconds down in this uh, third period. Shot by Brennan. Let's see if Jesse can uh, defend that. It's working a wizard. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, he's getting some near fall here. That's Brennan's got him on his back right throwing a pin for, for Brennan. Uh, seven actually, seconds left in the second period. That surprises me a little bit. I'm surprised he got in that deep. Well, uh, Brennan's been wrestling for a long time. What age did he start again? He started at five years old. Five years old. And actually so he, uh, wrestling for the, the Bullet Creek Tiger Hawks, who was coached by Gary Hollingshead, who was the former coach here at Dow High for a number of years. So you got somebody that just has such instinct for wrestling. And uh, one little mistake, he capitalized on it. And he can't do that against uh, some of these experienced wrestlers. You know, that was a good match. Yeah, and uh, another chess match here. We'll see what uh, who's sending their wrestler out first. Okay, so Dow High sending out first. They're sending out Dustin Fletcher. We're kind of expecting uh, Jacob Hine. Yeah, he's ready to go. Looks like he is checking in right now. Oh, no. They took a void at 160. Um, Dustin and, and Jacob, they've got a long history. They wrestled a few times last year, you know, splitting matches. And I'm surprised that... Uh, that uh, Coach Donovan voided that. That was one of those matches we were really looking forward to. Um, Connor Moe is going out at 171, and he's going to face Jacob Hine. And this this could be a very good uh, good matchup too. Both of them with youth experience. Both have similar builds. Both pretty physical wrestlers. Jacob comes in as a senior here. He was a uh, Saginaw Valley League place here in regional qualifier last year. Mm -hmm. He's been wrestling since uh, seventh grade he started. Mm -hmm. And Jacob's leading the way for his two younger brothers, Sam, who is a 
sophomore and will wrestle in the next weight class. And they have a younger brother, John, who's wrestling at Northeast and wrestles uh, in youth. He's a seventh grader, and you'll, uh, you'll see big things out of John someday. He just had a wonderful weekend last weekend in the youth setting, and uh, we're going to see that name on the front page of the paper soon. So. Yeah, there's going to be Hines at uh, Midland High for a few years to come. Connor Moe, again, is one of those rare three-sport athletes. He plays football. He was uh, second-team All-Valley at linebacker for Dow High this year. And um, he also plays baseball. A quick shot there by Connor Moe. Nicely defended by Jacob. Yeah, it's a nice sprawl. Oh, nice spin. Connor Moe's got a switch. Got a very good switch. They, but, uh, uh, looks, two there. Looks like Jacob uh, defended that really well. And he let him up for and, one. And uh, let him up for one. So we got a two to one, two to one match. Connor's got, I'd say his two best moves are, um, he's got a sweep single and then a standing switch. I've had the pleasure of coaching Jacob uh, uh, for a couple of years in the youth setting. And this uh, is one thing, is, and it goes right along with Coach Donovan's philosophy, is he is so good on his feet. He will grind out a single leg or a double leg. He is absolutely relentless with it. So, Yeah, they've, they've got a lot of energy. He's got a good gas tank, and he's going to push the pace for three periods here. Absolutely. Connor got a piece of that leg on the sweep, but so 12 seconds left. See Jacob's if, uh, got a front headlock here. He's got 10 seconds now, about six. See if uh, one of them can do something here. Connor just wants to not give up points yeah. here. And, and Jacob probably wasn't aware of the time and, and maybe didn't hit a shuck by. So Red's choice, which is Midland High, and they do choose down here. So. Connor Moe got his youth experience actually at the Meridian Youth Club and then wrestled at Jefferson for a couple years. And yeah, you coached him uh, over there too, right? Yep. Yeah, I've actually had the, the pleasure of coaching Connor Moe for the last 10 years in baseball, football, and wrestling. So I know him pretty well. So Jacob exposed to his feet, but Connor attacked the ankles right away. And uh, they'll actually probably give a stalling to to Connor Moe. Okay. Yep. They actually have about 10 seconds, and you saw the referee counting, to uh, to come back to uh, uh, an on-top position. Mm -hmm. And uh, if, if there really is no stalemate in that type of scenario. So right. uh, Connor's got to keep that in the back of his mind, too. Uh, because one more, if you get cautioned for stalling again, it's actually one point uh, for Midland High. You get a caution, and then you, uh, on the second time, they award a point. So he's going to have to... to his feet here. Hand yep. control, turn and face. Textbook yep. right there. That was a good stand up. Little hand fighting here. Getting heavy on the head. Yeah. These guys are standing in the middle of the mat, which is nice because some of the other ones didn't do that. Oh, Connor tried to throw. Yeah. And did not have that set up very well. And uh, Jacob attacked uh, right away and uh, yep. put him right on his back. Jacob, I don't know. That, I don't know if Jacob got any near fall there. Uh, Had a little technical like difficulty with our headsets, and I, I uh, wasn't wasn't looking at the match. Oh, now he's going to his back. He's gonna give he's up. He's got him pretty tight fall. with lots of time left. So uh, 50 seconds left and six points right there. Oh, got a got a pin there. Yep. And that's actually part of that chess match we were talking about. Um, Connor Moe actually wrestled uh, Sam Hine earlier. He wrestled Sam Hine earlier in the year and uh, beat him at the Freeland tournament in a very tough match. So that's that's where, uh, like I say, that chess match comes up. So next up, looks like we're going to have Sam Hine coming out at 189. Sam Hine will go against uh, Aiden Belgerno. Aiden is. Aiden is a freshman, and uh, Aiden came up through the uh, the Thunder youth program. Yeah, he with, actually was out uh, at uh, Freeland for a while, too. I know yep. his dad was a coach out there. Yep. So it looks like Aiden's already got a bloody nose there. So yeah. it's, uh, <laughs> That's you know, not a good way to start. Him up, so. That's not a good way to start. Aiden has a record of 8-7. and seven. Uh, Aiden played on the Dow High freshman football team right now, uh, this year. And um, Sam Hine also plays football for for uh, Midland High. 
and looks like they're getting ready to go. I remember both of these uh, squaring off in the, uh, the youth setting, so they know each mm -hmm. other quite well. And uh, now that they're in the big stage here in the, uh, in the high school, wicked cross yep. face right there by Aiden Bell Journal. Yep. Oh. He's going to feel that one tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a nice shot uh, by Sam, and Aiden really fought that off well. Um, a lot of these wrestlers from both schools, um, you know, see each other in the youth, or saw each other in the youth setting, or maybe go to the go to a club together and we'll wrestle. I tell you, Aiden's doing a great job defending those shots, and he Sam's is. just another one that absolutely will grind out a single leg or a double leg. Very, very good on his feet. Yep. Both of these guys have brothers on, on the team. Uh, Aiden has a twin brother, Merrick, and then Sam's older brother, who we just saw. So that's probably pretty good for those guys to have, have their brothers with them. <laughs> uh, and I know both, uh, both of them, uh, both families, both have wrestling mats in their basement. So yep. they take the sport very seriously. So yes, they, they do. Uh, they uh, fell in love with it a few years back, and it's been, uh, been the story ever since. Yeah, they put a lot of time into it, that's for sure. Oh. Aiden's in a kind this of a bad is, spot. Yeah, on his belly hips right there. are okay. There now he's go. got his hips up, so that's a little better. But Sam just, I think, a little too strong, and and got his hips out and really flattened Aiden out, which which is not good for Aiden. Yeah, both of them actually weighing pretty light for the 189 weight class here. Um, both yeah. of them uh, quite light. And uh, both feet. Yeah. Oh, look like we're gonna have a, a pin here. Sam just a little too much for Aiden to handle. Yeah, both these guys are, are 71 or 60 pounders by trade. And uh, we're up a little high in the in the lineup today. Yeah, they uh, they need to fill some voids in their weight class. It's better than giving up six points with For an sure. opening in a weight class. So. For sure. Good team the, players uh, here. The cat and mouse game, the strategy has worked out well for Coach Donovan so far in the 140-pound weight class and, and uh, also... 171 and 189. And we've got 215 here. Brent Booth for Dow High. And I'm not familiar with who's coming up for Midland High. Uh, that's um, uh, Kenton Wontorsik right there. Okay. Brent has a pretty extensive youth background. Um, through the Bay County Roadrunners, which is actually the club that you came through, Jason. Um, actually, yeah, I, uh, I wasn't with the Roadrunners there. I, uh, I was a Bay City Western grad. Okay, uh, but no did not go experience. through the, no. didn't go through the youth. Okay. No. Uh, Kenton Juan Torsic is a senior this year uh, from okay. Midland High. He comes with okay. a two and five record. But, uh, I see him every day at practice. Our, uh, our youth program practice is up at Midland High right okay. after. Uh, um, they get done with the high school match, and okay. uh, he's a hard worker. I see him every day sweating his, sweating uh, like a stuck pig. So. <laughs> yeah, those wrestling rooms get a little warm, don't yep, they? Absolutely. Looks like Brent's getting near fall here. Got a tight yeah. bundle there. I'm not sure that uh, that one's going to go anywhere. The referee's trying to find position to see if there's a pin there. I think Brent might. I thought maybe Brent was blocking his own pin, but he, he wasn't. He definitely had the better view than us. So, uh, six so more that, for uh, six Del more. High. That's, uh, I tell you, this match, this, this dual meet's going a lot faster than I anticipated, a lot more pins than I, than I thought. This is going to be an interesting matchup here at heavyweight. Uh, Tomiko, uh, Alex Tomiko, this is, he's a senior. And uh, we got Evan is, Walter coming. This is here. his his first year okay. of uh, wrestling. He was a defensive lineman for the Dow High football team and decided he wanted to participate in a winter sport. So um, Alex is a bit bigger, but uh, doesn't have the experience that Evan does. Yeah, Evan is a uh, uh, a junior this year. He comes in with a four and five record. He's been wrestling uh, for two years now. So he also plays uh, football, runs track. Uh, uh, it does field events there. Another one of those rare three-sport athletes. That's tough to do at a big school. And, um, still stay on top of your studies and, and give each sport the time it needs. These guys are getting into a... 
the big lock right here. This probably favors Alex. Yeah. Well, he backed out of that yep. nice. Evan did a nice job. He's just trying to back out of that right now. He doesn't like that position at all. Evan's not, or I'm sorry, Alex isn't super experienced with the throws, but he just has the size over. He's just over trying to Evan. elevate him here and well, get him like out of position. Yep. Evan's, Evan's probably a little faster. So we got a team score of 39 to 24 with uh, two more weight classes after this. So every match is uh, is going to count, especially especially when the pins come into play. Right. right. Definitely still within reach of uh, of Dow High, even though Midland High's got a little bit of a lead right now. This match is actually a very pivotal match. So. And a lot of heavyweight matches actually end in pins, so I would expect this one will end in a pin uh, one way or the other. You get those big guys on top of them, it's, it's tough to fight off. And Evan's doing a great job uh, fighting off Alex's size and strength. And, oh, he slipped, and one little mistake. Evan uh, spins, gets around, gets two points. Gets two points. Now, with any strategy, you always try to keep your uh, your opponent down, uh, mm -hmm. keeping your weight centered on them, working your your breakdowns from there. Make your opponent work as hard as you can. We got a nice little roll there. Roll. And again, that's that's hard to to fight off that much weight when it's on top of you. But he did a nice job. I don't I don't think there was any near fall nope. there. I think it was just a reversal. So we got two two with four seconds left. And if, uh, I don't know who has choice here, but if it's Dow High, I'm assuming they're going to choose top in this one. Because, yeah, it's uh, one of those that uh, you'd always want to choose top. Looking for your pin oh, right away. Surprise, they called for neutral, which uh, I was expecting them to go top since, since Alex is so much heavier. You guys are going to go back at it on their feet. Still in the feeling it out phase here. Let's see who wants to go after a takedown. Looks like uh, Alex is trying to trip, but Evan, with with more experience, just just uh, blocked the trip and 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 got Alex down. His defensive uh, strategy right there is actually working out great for Evan Walter. He's uh, capitalizing on any mistake right now, even though that uh, Alex is the one going after all the. All the takedowns. Uh, Evan is being the smart wrestler right now. But did Evan wrestle for you uh, for uh, the Thunder? No, no. He's got two years of experience, uh, all high school here. Okay. So uh, he's one that's you know gonna be exciting for another year for him after uh, after this year. So. Yeah. So power this half is, and uh, yeah, this is not looking good for Alex. Evan's got that pretty good. He is a little high, but I think uh, Alex is not not in a great position to roll him. He might be off. Well, he did okay. fight. He goes right back into a power half. Yep. And, uh, oh, now he's right back, though. Now he's chest to chest a little bit better. Here. And the crowd really liked that one. Yeah, yeah that uh, that was not what Dow High needed yeah. to get themselves back in here. Alex, Alex gave it a good effort. I just think Evan's uh, couple years experience really, yeah. really uh, made the difference there. Yeah. So next, uh, 103 pounds, we got uh, Hayden Howell from Midland High and uh, Jacob Sweet from Dow High. Jacob Sweet comes in with a record of 15 and seven as a junior, which is a very respectable uh, 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 record. And uh, I'll get uh, Hayden's here. I believe he's a freshman here. Um, at 103 pounds. Yeah, JJ's had a pretty good year so far. And uh, JJ is, um, he's one of those that we have to actually uh, feed a little extra to keep him up at 103 pounds <laughs> because he's so light. And uh, he's very strong, uh, very strong 103 pounder. And uh, Hayden is a, is a freshman. Actually, tonight was his very first match. So he's coming in against an experienced wrestler. And, and, uh, and in the crosstown rival, which is nerve-wracking. Oh, that's a quick a pin right there. Quick pin by seven. JJ. That's all right. It's tough He's trying to fill sure these varsity what, shoes here as a freshman. It really it's is. A, 
You gotta be able to accept the, the bumps and bruises along the way. JJ's got middle school experience. He actually uh, wrestled at Central Middle School in their last year and then came over to Jefferson and wrestled. So and that, was a, that was a good win for him. Last on yeah. the list here, looks like we're going to have Mateo Diaz from uh, from Midland High. And oh, oh, looks like they avoided. And they avoided. It. Yeah, we've got, uh, I'm not sure why, we have a 112 pounder. Um, oh, Mateo Diaz is an 11th grader. He came in tonight with an 11 and 2 record. He was a phenomenal wrestler with multiple years of youth experience. He was a state qualifier last year, and it's probably just one of those things that uh, they didn't want to risk any type of injury or anything like that when uh, the final score ended up being 30 to 51. You know, Dahai probably wasn't going to wasn't going to win that one over Mateo. Right, Mateo, I, I've enjoyed watching him through the years. I followed him a bit when he was uh, in the youth the youth program and, and then came through Northeast. Yeah, he's... He's definitely one that uh, you're going to see at the at the Palace this year. Yeah, just hopefully everybody can stay healthy on both teams. I know they've already got uh, quite a few injuries. Um, you know, Hunter Snyder is one of them from uh, from uh, Midland High. He comes in as a senior. He's a state qualifier last year, but uh, he's got a knee injury right now, and it's still a little bit uncertain whether or not he'll be uh, able to come back before the end of the season. Well, I, I talked to Hunter before the match today, and um, he is done for the year, unfortunately. Oh, that's too bad. Because he was, I believe he was ranked uh, second in the state at 215 pounds, and um, he took fourth last year at 171. He's a very, very good wrestler, and they will, they will definitely miss him uh, in that lineup. Um. Just to talk about uh, our telecast here tonight, uh, we are being uh, videoed for uh, MPS TV, um, and you can find that on uh, Charter on channel 189, Thursday, January 12th at 8 p.m., channel 189, Friday, January 13th at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., channel 190 on Charter, Saturday and Sunday um, from 10 a.m. till and 6 p.m. We are going to go to um, the interview that Jason had with... Uh, Coach Trader, Josh Trader um, from Dow High. We started the telecast with uh, some interviews and we actually missed the first two matches, but we're going to go to that interview right now and, and see what Josh had to say. Hey, this is Jason Reward. I'm here with Coach Josh Trader. This is his first year as a head coach with Dow High Wrestling. Um, congratulations on that. Just wanted to ask you a couple quick questions uh, before the match begins. I know you got to get your kids ready. So is there anything that you tell your kids um, before a big Crosstown rivalry match like this? Well, something special with this one is I'm actually a Midland High grad. So there's a little fuel in there, um, Crosstown rival fuel, because I'm feeling the same way they are, really. I'm nervous. Um, I want to do well. I want them to win but I actually feel like I'm actually wrestling the match too a little bit because I've been there I've been in their shoes so but also you know I just talk about all the other sports we play against them and that they're involved in so really crosstown rivalry is a big thing and I get it and I've been I've been there so I just preach to them about you know we need to go out and we need to hammer them and, and then get off the mat and be done so very good is there any special motivational techniques that you're using uh, to help get them pumped up um, you know, we all, I don't think, really we haven't gone through the week any differently than uh, what our opponent is. And, and we, we, we always pumping kids up, who, no matter who we wrestle. And so, not, I wouldn't say anything changes, but we're always motivating them to do their best, go out and, and never give up and, and really uh, go out there and just fight. And if you're going to go out there and fight and wrestle, you're going to do fine. And, and good things will come out of that. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Josh. We wish you the best of luck tonight and, uh, and good luck with your first match. Here. Thank you. All right, you can catch all the high school sports action on MCTV this winter. MCTV volunteers and staff will broadcast the Midland versus Dow boys and girls basketball games on January 13th, Midland versus Dow hockey game on January 31st, and Midland versus Dow swim meet in February. Uh, please visit www.cityofmidlandmi.gov backslash MCTV for more information. The coverage of this meet is being broadcast or being produced by MCTV volunteers and staff. If you'd like to work on shows like this one, come to the next orientation studio training class on the second Saturday of February 
which is the 11th. The cost is just $45, which includes the annual access user fee. Please call 837-3474 or come down to the MCTV's studio in the lower level of the Grace A. Dow Memorial Library. You can learn more about MCTV at www.cityofmidlandmi.gov backslash MCTV. Also, you can follow MCTV on Facebook. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out here tonight. Um, this is a great matchup between Midland High and Dow High. Thank you very uh, much, Dennis, for, uh, um, for uh, announcing with me. And thanks for inviting me out here to do this. This is a ton of fun. Yeah, this was a great time, and thank you for joining me. It was uh, good to catch up with you again. Jason and I coach together, and we've become friends. And uh, we want to wish both of these teams uh, best of luck in the uh, last half of their season. All thank right. you. Right, have a good night.